Hey guys, welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. We're in free build mode again, as you can see over here on the wall. Last time we were in free build, we built that beast. That's the most expensive PC you can currently build in PC Building Simulator. If you want to see that video, be sure to uh, check the upper right hand corner. I'll put a little link up there. You can go check that out. I turned this thing on, but every time, every time I leave free build mode, it breaks itself. It says missing cables, but if you check the video, it doesn't say missing cables and all the fans are turning, but now if I tried to power it up, half of it doesn't work. So I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But today, today we're going to go the complete opposite direction. That one was the most expensive. I'm going to go for the absolute cheapest build you can make in PC building simulator right now as a version 1.8. So let's get a case. Let's get a case. We all know what the cheapest case is. We gotta know by now. It's the Silverstone PS14. It doesn't matter if you've got the window or not. If you're building a nice PC in this case, maybe go for the window. If you're building an absolute piece of junk, low end, <laughs> like what I'm gonna build, maybe you should choose the non-window, but I'm gonna go for the window just because, just because, so we can look in, we can look in at that pathetic little build we're gonna put in this thing. The absolute most, most sad build. Now, you would think that AMD is going to be the cheapest way to go for this. And normally I would say you were right. In, in real life, in the real world, I would say you could probably get an AMD processor and motherboard a whole lot cheaper than you could Intel. Unfortunately, in this game, the cheapest AMD processor you can get is a Ryzen 3 1200, and it's $140. And the cheapest Ryzen motherboard you can get is a Gigabyte uh, AB350M or a B450 Aorus, I believe. Both of those are 85, which actually comes up to be more than if you build an Intel build. So, with all that said, let's get a motherboard. We're going to go for the Mortoni. We're going to go for the Mortoni H170 MTech. This one right here, it's a hundred bucks. Hundred dollar motherboard. Not too bad, you could put a decent processor in here. You could, but we're not going to. We're gonna put the cheapest processor in here that we absolutely can. And that's gonna be a Celeron. There's a few Celerons. There's a few you can get, if I could spell it. And if I was in the right section, not motherboards. <laughs> So you've got the G3950, the G3930, and the G3900. So the 3900 is a little bit crappier than the 3930, but the 3930 is actually a little bit cheaper than the 3900. I don't remember how much the 3900 is, but the 3930 is 40 bucks. All impressive two cores of it. All two cores is $40. So we're gonna install that. Now we need some RAM. We need some RAM. And I think there's two different kinds of RAM we could go for that is the cheapest. Uh, we're gonna go for two gigs. This isn't gonna help me, is it? This isn't gonna help. So, there's two different kinds. One of them is one of these green things. I don't remember which one it is. It's not the A data. It's not the A data. Um, it's, it's something else, but I don't think it's the Sheehan Titan. That's what we're going to go with. Cause it's black. There's another one that's green. I don't remember what it was. I never use it. I never use it in builds because who uses two gigs of Ram? Maybe when you first start off the career mode of this game, you got to build some stuff with this, but we're going to go with this one stick, two gigs of Ram. Please don't build this PC in real life. Please don't. This thing is going to be utter trash. You'll be lucky if you could surf the internet <laughs> with this with this PC. It's it's just it's no good. It's no good. So let's grab thermal paste. Let's get that on our dinky little Celeron processor. And we need a cooler. So there's some really cheap coolers in this game, but we're gonna go with the absolute cheapest, which is this Mortoni Thermal 100. 10 bucks, 
probably doesn't cool anything more than this Celeron. If you want to know the truth, if you put anything more powerful than that, that's like an Intel box cooler. I mean, you just, you don't want it unless you just need it. Yep, you just, you don't want it. All right. Let's get a power supply. The uh, Sheehan Power King 250 is by far the cheapest at $20. And that's all you need for this little, little tiny Celeron. That's really it. We do need a hard drive though. Not an SSD. We're not doing any, any high speed stuff. We're going to go with this Mortoni Easy Store 120. It's a $20 hard drive. It'll hold your operating system and a few pieces of software. And that's probably about it. Yep. In real life, again, this is, this is absolutely useless. Now, if I were to wire this up, um, most Intel, this one does, this motherboard doesn't even have like an HDMI port, but most Intel motherboards come with an HDMI port. You could just plug something in. This would be the cheapest build if you could do it. But this game, you've got to put the graphics card in. So the cheapest graphics card in this game, there's two of them. One's an EVGA and the other one is a gigabyte. They're both GT 1030s. They are pathetic. <laughs> oh, I guess there's a space there. 1030. So there's the EVGA and the Gigabyte. They're both the same price. They're both 75 bucks. Uh, this one looks like it would do better because maybe it has a bigger fan than this one. But I mean, if you look, they're both clocked the exact same. And we'll probably give this... Oh, look, I pulled out two slots. I didn't even need that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. That's only a single slot card. So, uh, so I think we're ready to cable this up. Um, put a little bit nicer cables in here just for fun. Just for fun. We'll get everything cabled up and then maybe we'll, uh, we'll run a 3d 3d mark test and kind of see just how sad this thing is. Let's grab USB drive and let's power this thing on. We can hop into this BIOS. I don't think there's any need to, to be quite honest with you. This sad blue old school looking kind of BIOS from the Irregular Corporation. We can turn XMP on, but it's only 2133 RAM. You can't overclock anything. This is as it is. We're going to let it install the operating system oh look at look at the speed the sheer speed of this oh my gosh there we go I was wondering if it was gonna do it I was wondering so they're charging us for the uh why is this 332? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. If you spec this out, it actually comes out to 325. I don't really know why it's showing retail value of 332 because all the parts put together come out to $325. So I've noticed in free build mode for some reason, retail values off. I'm not really sure what that's from, but the parts the parts add up to $325. So let's get, let's get, uh, let's get 3d mark on here. We'll, we'll wait for that to slowly install. Oh my, there we go. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and put GPU tuner on here. Cause I want to try and overclock this graphics card and just see, but we're going to, we're going to run a 3D mark test before I overclock it, just because I'm curious as to how pathetic this thing is. Okay, we're gonna let this restart. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get 3D mark running, and obviously I'm gonna cut away because look at how slow these FPS are. As, as soon as I get a score, 
I will come right back. So there you have it, 1,044. This thing, and I know it's saying that it did 6.61 frames per second. I never saw it go over 5.56. So I don't know when it did that, but I'll take their word for it. Let's see if we can make that any better. What I'm gonna do is because this is probably gonna be really painful to watch and I don't want this video to be an hour long. I'm gonna get this thing overclocked. I'm gonna figure out the best overclock I can get on it and then I'll come back, we'll run a 3D Mark test and see what we get. All right, so here it is. This thing overclocked a lot further than I actually thought it was going to. We've gone uh, 240 megahertz over the base clock. However, anything, anything on the memory side, even just one megahertz would cause this thing to blue screen. I don't know what's up with that. I have no idea. I have issues overclocking the memory on a lot of graphics cards in this game. I don't know if it's the coding or something of it. Anywho, let's get 3D Mark running. Let's see what we get for a score. As soon as I get a score, or if this thing happens to blue screen on me, either way, I'll come right back and show you guys. All right, there it is, 1,122. The non-overclock score was 1,044, if you've forgotten. So either way you look at it, it's still a crap PC. <laughs> it's still just, just garbage. I mean, I mean, six and seven frames per second with getting less than five on the CPU test. That's no good. That's no good. And again, this was this was the highest I could get if I went up to 241. The thing blue screened. There is Silicon Lottery in this game. I don't know if it's in free build mode, uh, but your mileage may vary. In real life, don't build this PC. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. All right, let's take a look at this piece of junk. Just for fun, let's put this case back together. We'll take a look at what it looks like. All right, there it is. Let's get this stuff off the screen. Bye-bye stuff. All right. Now there it is, a little less distracting. It is absolutely nothing great to look at. I'm gonna end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified as soon as a video goes live. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there. Be sure to wash your hands. And I will see you in the next episode.